Hello, it's Andy Graham of Hobo Traveler. I, uh, I want to tell you where you don't want to live in Vicabamba, uh, anywhere close to this major highway. Uh, I'm at the top of, there's a major highway that goes through, this, this goes all the way, if you look up the hill, it goes all the way to Peru, and it's, it's quite wide, it's, it's pretty obvious when you're in a city, but this is the major highway going through the city, it's the one you would come in on, and basically, you can hear this truck as it starts to climb, and we do have semis in this country, right? So anything that's climbing in, in, in diesel, like over here is an apartment building that I guess nobody lives in because of the noise. But all these properties along here are going to have a lot of climbing traffic for one thing. And there's, it's the only place I've actually found a for rent sign, and they're pretty nice looking buildings. But don't get fooled, this will be a noisy place to live. Uh, you, you'll even have a nice view off the top of your deck over here, but on the other side is uh, anything within, say, 50 meters or 50 yards, 100 yards of the uh, this major road is a little bad. I mean, it's going to have traffic noise, and it's only going to get worse, especially if you're going to be crazy enough to buy, <laughs> okay? You can probably rent and get away with it. There's always one building that obviously is smart enough to keep all these windows away from it. But see, this, this one over here, they built all their windows facing the, the road, so they really didn't uh, think about it. But uh, some of the ones over here actually didn't uh, do it. Now, see right, right there above that Acero uh, Pollo place has all the windows facing the street, so it's a little, you know, second story up, it does decrease it a little, but it doesn't get rid of it. There's a real nice building over here it's obviously pretty new. It's got all windows closed. So obviously they, they realize what they're doing. But, like I say, you don't want to get on a major highway when you're buying a property abroad. Uh, one of the protections of America, I was a real estate broker for 14 years, and what you don't, you don't realize when you're buying property is abroad. You see, you get stuck in these additions, and these additions protect you from these crazy things, okay? And we have uh, zoning laws, and we have all these things to protect you. Uh, they could actually move a disco in next to any of these places over here. It's, it's just totally possible. Then the problem here is that if you get farther than just outside the village just a little bit, then the robbery starts to, get, to, to increase. So, because there's a very dangerous culture, the Central and South America, there's a lot of theft. And I think close to the village is probably dangerous if you got tw probably 20 miles from the village. You might be okay because, you know, nobody's going nobody's to make the trip out there to rob you, right? But on the other side is, you know, it's, any isolation when you're traveling abroad is dangerous. I mean, I you know, just think about this. They always say these countries are corrupt, and then you don't believe it. <laughs> okay, they are, okay. But... Uh, you can see this buildings over here. These are all just prime, pr beautiful looking properties, like you know, a great place to rent, but they're not because they're going to have a lot of noise. And truthfully, what I went up here for is I wanted to figure out what the elevation was. It's, it's going to be a pretty good drop all the way to the thing. And then most of you, most of the people, the average age in this city seems to be over 60 something. So that means that you're trying to tell a person they're supposed to walk up the hill all the time. So they end up paying another dollar for a taxi, and they end up staying in their house all the time because they got to rent one of these taxis. This is a taxi right here. It's a taxi truck. And because, the reason why they're taxi trucks is because the terrain's so difficult. It's not a flat place in this city. Uh, there's what I'm talking about, guys. We can